Hey there, I'm Tomasz from Polygon Flow. Today I'm happy to announce that Dash 1.9 has just been released and with this it becomes even simpler to create words in Unreal Engine 5. This update is focused on improving the Dash content browser, but it of course also comes with a few new features. Let's dive in and see what's new in the latest version. You can now organize your assets in any way you like with collections, a new way to find and store the asset data inside the Dash content browser. Simply drag and drop an asset into one or several collections to get started. To remove an asset from the collection, you only need to drag it out from the collection onto an empty area in the collection space. Keep the collections for yourself or share them with your team to let everyone know the best assets for the next project you will be working on. Simply right-click on the collection and create a shared version of it. If a shared collection has been changed by someone else, you will get a notification and a choice to load the change or overwrite it. Display the details of the asset with a simple double-click to see the most relevant asset information and edit the text all in one window. You can find objects with names that mean similar things. If you have one asset named Apple and another one named Ginger, you will see both of them if you search for food. The more an asset matches your search, the higher it will be displayed in the search result. You can now add and remove terms from the search with plus and minus operators. For example, searching for plants plus rocks will give you all the forest-related assets, but also include all your rocks. Note that it is important to use a space and then the operator next to the second word. We have listened to your feedback and the project library is now more efficient, easier to use and to share with your team. This is just the first stage of a long-term plan that will make the Dash content browser the only browser you need to manage your assets. The tagging and compute process has been optimized and improved, so now, especially for big Android projects, it should work much better and faster. So please try it and let us know how it goes. As you might be used to from previous versions, in Dash 1.9 you can access all your tagged assets in the Dash content browser, even if they are from other projects. If you can't find them in the content browser, simply add the projects folder in the preferences menu. You can either add them manually or by using the automatic search. Now, if you have blueprints with meshes inside, you can have them searchable and usable from the project library tab in the Dash content browser. As of Dash 1.9, the default storage location for Dash metadata in new Unreal projects is directly within the Unreal project itself making it as easy as sharing your projects for any team member to access all Dash content browser data. As requested by many of you, materials tagging is now an opt-out feature, meaning your materials will be computed along with your meshes inside the Dash content browser. With version 1.9, we are bringing some nice new shaders to Dash. Some of these are highly requested by you guys. Here's what's new. This is a revamped water shader. For quite some time, our users requested a water shader that comes with some waves and underwater effects. Now it's all there. By going to the Create tab, you will find the advanced water shader. This shader comes with the rain on water effect as well, playing with some properties to get some nice waves. In the Tools panel, you can tweak the values of the properties to get the best result for your project. Another cool thing we added to our new water system is the ability to go underwater and have the feeling of being actually under a body of water. Likewise, these settings can be tweaked as required from the Tools panel. When creating a forest or an urban street, we usually want to add some leaves falling in a certain direction. All this is now possible with a single click. In the Dash toolbar, go to the Create menu and select Create Falling Leaves. Some beautiful leaves with all the settings necessary for early any scenario will appear in the scene. With Dash 1.9, we are introducing our first runtime virtual texture workflow. Here's how you can enable it. Select your mesh or terrain. Make sure it's baked and the static mesh. Then go to the Dash search bar and run the RVT action. Then you only need to enable and adjust the RVT settings on your mesh 
placed on your surface and see how the magic happens. Make sure enable virtual texture support is checked in your project settings. It works best on dashed terrains or UV landscapes. If you want to use it on a flat surface like a plane, you need to select the plane and an asset on the plane and then run the RVT command instead of just using the RVT on the surface. In our blend material workflow with RVT, when adjusting the weight parameter and adding grass or another texture layer, select an asset in the scene and choose Edit Material from the Tools panel to apply the changes. The adjustments will become visible as you modify the blend material. You can now pick interactively the variation on assets with multiple meshes. Hold Ctrl when dropping your asset into the scene and choose Select Asset. A floating UI will appear that makes it very easy to iterate on the available asset variations and pick the one you're looking for. You can now search for assets directly from the dashbar to have one or more small views of the search result. Just type Find Rocks or Find Grass and a new mini version of the content browser will open where you can see all your rocks or all your grass assets. And that's about it. We also have some smaller updates, so make sure to check out our documentation on our website. We hope you enjoyed the new features, and if you like, you can try Dash for free. For more content like this, follow our YouTube channel and join our Discord server. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.